All right, guys, today we are talking about the Cold Steel 4MAX Scout. Now, this is one that I've featured several times on the channel with talking about robustness and its overall durability. So I figured it's actually time to talk about this little folding tank. So let's do just that. So like I said, this is the 4MAX Scout. And uh, what do I really have to say about this thing that I haven't already? It is essentially, as I've summarized in other videos, really just an excellent folding tank blade a folding tank and I feel like because of its tanky nature its ability to take hits to the spine because of its excellent triad lock this is a knife that you can almost use or a folding knife that you can almost use in place of a fixed blade and uh, overall to anyone that disagrees they have not used a triad lock blade these are very tanky blades and the thickness of this lock bar in the way that it locks into a lock pin here makes it incredibly durable and very very hard to disengage unintentionally or when it's in the locked position so aside from that um about the biggest disadvantage that I have for this blade is that it's heavy. Uh, because of that thick lock back on it and because of how much goes into the locking system, this is definitely not a light blade, but it is definitely on par with fixed blades of this size. So when it's folded out, you know, it's around eight plus inches, I think closer to nine inches. And so it's certainly around the, you know, weight of those blades. So it's definitely not a downside, but it's definitely not like a huge plus that this knife is lightweight. It's definitely not that. However, like I said, it is pretty tanky and that is a big plus. In addition to that, too, the handle is very roomy. You can really spread out. And uh, what I like is you can choke up for nice close tasks or you can choke back. I don't know if I'd really do chopping with this knife, primarily just because of the blade length. It's not really going to be optimal for chopping, but it is going to be if you want to kind of like come back, you know, choke back to do something like a chest lever, you can definitely do that and it will work just fine. So aside from that, uh, like I said, I think is a really, uh, it definitely is a really tanky blade. And uh, for being a folder, that is very nice because the biggest advantage to a folder is unlike a fixed blade, you can collapse this. It does have a pocket clip. You can, I probably wouldn't say, you know, this would fit in an average pocket, but something like on these Vita Pros where you have cargo pockets, this would be an excellent cargo pocket carry because it is a little bit wider, a little bit bigger and heavier. I would definitely recommend throwing it in a cargo pocket, but it would make a good cargo pocket carry. And once again, still one hand openable. You can't quite close it with one hand very easily, though you kind of can. Um, it's not super easy to do, but overall a very tanky blade. It is excellent at doing things like batoning, excellent at doing things like feather sticking, notching. Um, it's really hard to beat, and that's primarily because it has a very high saber grind, and the width of this blade is like an inch and a half going on two inches wide. Uh, so it is very, very wide, and the blade is nice and um, nice and tapered so it just slices right through things so well honestly it's a really great performer it is also made out of os 10 so it's slightly higher performing than os 8 but still a reasonable stainless steel and probably not quite as stainless as it could be because this blade is stone washed so you do want to watch for rust i haven't had any rust on mine but i haven't used it in like super wet environments i haven't tried to like get it to rust i'm sure in salt water it would not perform super well but the edge retention and corrosion resistance are going to be adequate now if you couple that all in for the fact that this blade costs anywhere from 60 to 80 dollars on amazon it really is a pretty fantastic deal that i really do like honestly they're super hard to go wrong with i recommend these things to a bunch of people especially Alaskan people that or especially my Alaskan friends that go out into the wilderness and they ask me for you know really robust overbuilt tanky folders this is usually the first one up on the list that I recommend especially because of the price point and the sheer performance now this one was sent to me by a subscriber and I do heavily appreciate that uh, as always I definitely appreciate the support from my subscribers so this guy was sent to me for a review and to keep but uh, 
Either way, obviously, I would let you know if it sucked, and this one definitely doesn't suck within its use case of being a very tanky, very overbuilt, very awesome fit or folding blade. So once again, you guys probably know that I am pretty partial, especially as sizes get smaller to my folders, but this one is just so overbuilt and awesome that it has to be a heavy recommend for me. And once again, I do seriously recommend this to a lot of my Alaskan outdoor friends that are looking for something with this type of use case. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the little bit of a shorter review, but I don't have to say much because it really is an awesome knife. If you're questioning, go out, get one. They are awesome. So anyways, guys, God bless and I'm out.